Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Aaron Trevino and we are here in beautiful Corpus Christi, my hometown, and it's great to connect with the Laos family here, see what they're doing here on the south side. So we did a little tour and uh, happy to be here. It's gonna come out great. Badass, bro. Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Aaron Trevino here and we are here in beautiful Corpus Christi, Texas here on the south side. What's going on everybody? Hey, how's it Hello. going? How you doing? Just wanna welcome you all to the Lutz Construction Building. This is my family's family owned business. And we're here to show you today uh, one of our spec homes that we do. It's uh, quite popular down here in South Texas, uh, especially on the south side of Corpus. Um, it is a, a, a farmhouse. It's getting super popular nowadays. Uh, these are really, really selling on the market really, really fast. It's like, like little hotcakes, you know. They're, they're gone as soon as they're done. Uh, this is going to be just your basic uh, three bedroom, two bath, uh, family starter home with an open floor plan. Uh, it's on an open anchor, so you have a backyard. You know, that's just part of the lawn chair. Everything's coming. We're having a new college built down the road. Uh, it's a great selling point to build over here in the south side. You know, everybody wants the best education for their family. They, and, and it's right in the middle of the city as well, so you can get anywhere. It's a minute drive, and this is a perfect spot to build. Again, a farmhouse that is that's really, really popular right now on the south side. Everybody's, everybody's asking for, and this is one of our, our number one selling products. So you walk in, we have big, nice open floor here. Cakes, you can't see it right now, but it's in the process. So when you walk in, you like to walk, feel like you're walking into like, you know, not a small house, but like something big, you know, something comfortable. So you walk in. Three bedroom, two bath, and then we come over here. It's another selling point of the homes we built. So like big open floor plan, you know, where the whole family's together. You know, like you you can watch TV. You know, it's still eat over here. You know, like in the kitchen, living room, just big open. You know. straps hurricane straps and uh you not putting this in can you know stop you from going further with your job or just stopping you dead in tracks so we look for the straps all the way around the, the house and another thing that we use here are bolts that bolt down this two by four to the foundation these are put in as we put in our foundation so another thing, if you don't have a bolt, that's it. You're done for. Straps. So it's, it's a big process in this. So you know, you're not doing the right steps can stop you from going forward with your job. So that's a big thing that the inspectors come out here and, and look. And then if you look up here, we have a big old brace that's going to be able to allow us to go so high with the inside of this house to break into the attic so we can do some ceiling things. And again, you know, it's just process and steps to everything. You know, as long as you follow them and, you know, walk it every day with your contractors. And, uh, you know, it's all about communication because if you don't communicate, then everything can go south in a heartbeat. So the big thing is communication. You know, just st take a step back and breathe. You know, sometimes you need it because it can be very frustrating. And uh, this is my brother Jesus. He can do another walkthrough with you with other things that are, are used. 
You want to tell them about the little scratch up there, Jess? How y'all doing today? I'm going to walk through the master bedroom of our house today. And here we have the master bedroom with double windows facing to the backyard. Nice mesquite tree in the back. And over here is where your restroom is going to be. So right here we got the double vanities for the sinks with granite countertops. Over here we got a six by three foot shower. Shower head is going to be on both sides with a nice big window up over top for natural light. Right on in here is going to be the toilet where you can have your privacy and get to business. And then over here, we're going to have a nice big jacuzzi with shelves built right here on the side for towels, soaps, bath bombs, whatever you like to use. Nice big window over top for natural light. And we move on in here to the master closet. Nice big open space for shoe racks. We got shelves over here for the women's heels. And it's just going to be very nice. And, uh, here's the kitchen, the, the open floor plan I was talking about. You have your living room right here, nice big spacious. And what we like to do is add these uh, little floor plug. Well, they're the smart couches we have nowadays. They're really, really great. You plug in, your, you can hide your wire so you don't have it running across the floor, people tripping on it. It's right here and you can hide underneath your couch. And it's perfect for my couch because I have a smart couch and I, it plugs in and I can charge my phone and everything and I don't have wires all over scattered. That's a, that's a big thing for me. It's, it's a little small thing we do, but it sells a lot. And over here is the kitchen. We have a nice big open island right here. Granite countertops, towel all around the floor. And it, it's just great because you know you have your living room, kitchen, and you have your dining room, and everything's open. You know, there's no there's no walls blocking out different parts of the house. You know, you can be with everybody, you can see everything that's going on, especially if you have kids. You know, you can look over the counter when you're cooking, check back, make sure you know everything's good. Hey everyone, so we have a pretty deep lot here. That's a major focal point selling point of the house is the the big lot especially if you have kids trying to accommodate quite a few people great yard and uh let's take a look at the back what's going on hey how you doing today so we'd like to talk to you today about the market on spec homes down here in corpus christi everyone loves an affordable home and right now if you're building houses in 250 down they're selling the very next day or even before they're done so we're looking to expand our business and build all these spec homes for these starting families and give them some luxury touch to affordable homes out here in Corpus Christi. Like we like to say, give them a little touch. Uh, I want to talk a, a little bit about Corpus. Uh, I'm uh, born and raised here, and so are my brothers. Uh, the city by the bay, the city windy, uh, you know, city windy. Uh, the windy city. But uh, I just want to say, you know, uh, living here in Corpus is, is, is very beautiful. You know, uh, you're always 15 minutes away from everything. You know, uh, the water, uh, it's something great. I mean, families love coming down here for vacation. And once they come, they just want to stay. And uh, the number one problem here that we're kind of looking at is uh, land's just going like crazy. So uh, it's kind of hard to find, a, you know, a nice lot like you see here with a nice tree for the family, you know, starting home, nice little size. Uh, it's very difficult, but, you know, uh, you, you just got to be real motivated. You got to just keep searching and uh, you got to have patience. Don't settle for less. And, you know, you can always uh, achieve a lot more. And uh, that's what we tell a lot of our, our clients that come. Uh, don't settle for less. Uh, you know. Uh, Give us a little bit of time, you know, we can work together. And if we can't do that for you, I'm sure someone here can do that for you. And uh, just again, you know, uh, beautiful city, uh, beautiful city to raise a family. I, I mean, I, I, there's so much stuff that I can say and keep going on about Corpus, but you know, you just gotta come see for yourself. Um, we got into this business uh, from rental properties. My mom has been a very, very great businesswoman. We got in this business uh, from rental properties, thanks to my mom. Uh, she's always been buying properties ever since she, she first moved here from Mexico. That's been her, her dream, own properties. It's like, value never goes down. It's always, it's always increasing. And that's probably the smartest thing she's ever did. She blessed us with properties, but uh, we've 
since growing up, she, uh, we've always fixed up all her rental properties. So that's how we got into this. So every house, anything broken, she would send us. Get in there right now or you're not eating. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> we were in there fixing rental properties growing up our whole lives. So a lot of people look at us, they're like, uh, how are you guys building homes this, at this young age, you know? And uh, it's all thanks to my mom, you know? She, she put us out there, had us out in the field working every day, fixing things, small things, big things. And then we, we came up to her and we were like, you know, we've been fixing all these houses, pretty much fixing them from the ground up already. Why don't you let us expand out, put our own little branch and start building homes? And uh, thank God she went along with it. And now me and my brothers have a business to run. And hopefully we continue going. And we got her to watch her back because <laughs> she's the most experienced one out here. But she's been very blessed. So going back to the story on how we started this business, I decided to get rental homes because being a single mom, it was very nice and very blessed to me. Have my kids with me and build the business having the only thing I have in life, my kids all the time together. And that's a big blessing. <laughs> Hey everyone, so taking a look again at this big yard here. Hey Rob, can you tell us a bit more about the yard? Um, one thing we like to do to separate ourselves from other builders, we like to build on quarter acres. Uh, most of uh, the other builders here uh, build at, at 6,000 square feet. We do double, because we like to offer a huge backyard as you can see, you know. The problem with that is it's really hard to find these lots, so we don't build too many, but when we do, we make sure you get your bang for your buck, you know. It's, it's nice having be be able to have your kids out and play because most of these houses nowadays you have maybe I want to say six feet of backyard, you know, and like you have room for one barbecue pit and maybe a lawn chair if you're lucky, you know. Over here, you know, as you can see, we have two lawn chairs, not to brag or anything, but you know, you have plenty of space back here. You know, you have barbecues, have nice little parties for your kids, you know, and that's that's one thing we like to do to separate ourselves from the competition is get get more for your buck, you know, and you you get this. For same price for all the other houses for this size you know so that's one way we like to separate us from competition land yeah. and, and another thing we like to do when we're doing the home we like to kind of, kind of come in and picture ourselves like if we're in here gonna live right if, we're, if we were gonna live here so one thing that we do is we come in here and you know we kind of walk it through we walk a lot we talk together see seeing how we how, how, how you know where we would want the house so what we do here is by code you would need five feet from the fence to the actual house so one, one thing that we do is we move the house directly right next door to give you room to maybe come in with a nice little driveway you know a, a lot of builders they just like to come in and boom put Put that lot that, that house right in the middle of the lot but then how would you you know get to your backyard and enjoy it you know so one thing that we did is we screwed the house over just enough to uh, do a nice little driveway for a vehicle vans you know uh you know you name it uh it's possible so that was one thing different that we also did and as you see it uh there again with the sun kind of helping out all the straps that i was talking about earlier i mean it's mandatory you know, if it ain't strapped up, it ain't going to pass. So, another thing to keep up. So, as we get more into this business, we realize, you know, what's provided for families and what they're given in their spec homes. And we like to be different than everybody else. We don't like to lay down carpet anywhere in the house unless it's a custom home and the client wants the carpet. We like to provide them with tile throughout the whole house tile up on the whole showers majority of the people do it about seven feet we do it all the way up to the ceiling so there's no mold there's no anything going wrong with the sheetrock we want to provide our clients with a high-end affordable spec home to provide a different market for our clients because the number one thing about us is family and we want to give back to every single family and make sure that they're happy and they're getting for what they're paying for So here we are again with our bolts. <clears throat> By code, you would have to have your bolts just how it looks here. If not, it won't pass. Throughout the house, every wall that's basically connected is gonna have it. This is a great shot here. As you can see, the garage is all open. And just to show you how many straps is used, we have our straps here that are used are going underneath and over. And then our bolt, and then you come up here on top, and we have another 
strap here that goes up and over. And then you have a second strap that's connected here to the actual roof. You know, just for hurricane uh, purposes, from uh, keeping the wind, just tearing this roof right apart. So that basically keeps everything together. It's a big help and everything needs nails. Nails, 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 nails. A lot of the nails that we use here in Corpus are galvanized because of the salt water. So it keeps them from corroding. Everywhere you can see is basically a strap. And like I said, no strap, inspection don't pass. And here's one of the uh, main support beams that we use for the homes. We have these uh, all out throughout the house. They're LVO beams. Uh, super, super sturdy. They can withstand a, a lot of wind pressure and hold up a ridiculous amount of weight. And another thing in corpus we have to do, we have to add uh, separate things uh, for wind storms just to get wind storm certified. Like for example, these are main uh, load bearing walls. So we have to add an extra piece of plywood over this uh, just to keep it secure on only certain parts of the house. It's not the whole thing. So for example, this one, this side of the door and that pool over there are two of the major uh, bear loading walls. And that whole back wall as well would have to be covered. But this is just small things that your engineer that you hire goes over and marks the blueprints. But you cannot miss this because the second you miss this, inspection is getting failed. And you have to take off your sheetrock and then put it back, put the plywood on and put your sheetrock back on. And you know, that's, that's a lot of time and money you're gonna waste because you have to take off this. We, we also put trim in the garage. So we put trim, sheetrock, paint, and all that has to be taken off and then replaced if you forget small things like that. But that's something to look out for, especially when you're building down here, is look look at all your wind uh, certification stuff because it comes ve it's very important and it could come back and bite you in if you don't pay attention. Thank y'all for touring with us on our house today. And uh, please make sure to follow us and like us on Instagram and Facebook. We really appreciate it from our whole family and thank you very much Aaron. Hey everyone, this is Aaron signing off from beautiful Corpus Christi. Leo's family, thank you so much for having me out. It's, uh, it's always a pleasure being back in Corpus, my hometown where I grew up, right down the street from my childhood home. Uh, it's great to see what y'all are doing down here in Corpus and uh, talk to y'all soon. Take care. Take it easy.